This is Daria Shabad with CorporateProfile.com reporting on the news for Monday, July 16th, 2012. In the newest developments of the LIBOR rigging scandal, on top of paying $453 million in fines and CEO Bob Diamond leaving, Barclays has now been ousted from the rate-setting panel for interbank lending in the United Arab Emirates. The Emirates Interbank offered rates is set by a panel of 12 banks to price financial products in the Gulf's financial center. Rumor has it Barclays tried to manipulate the Emirates Interbank offered rates as well. Today, Mr. Del Monsieur will speak in front of the parliament, which will hopefully shed some more light on who is responsible for this banking disaster. And tune in again soon for a detailed explanation on what the rigging of the LIBOR means for the average U.S. consumer. Microsoft, the world's largest software maker, has been eyeing the world of online news and has now taken the first step in building its own online news service independent of NBC. Microsoft has left the joint venture that created MSNBC.com. Yes, MS did stand for Microsoft. I'm sure you knew that. NBC is buying Microsoft's 50% stake in the venture for an undisclosed amount, and MSNBC.com will now become NBC news.com. This is yet another sign that internet exposure is becoming more crucial to a company's business. Mark Zuckerberg is making headlines yet again, this time over his recent refinancing of a $5.95 million mortgage on his Palo Alto home, giving the term the 1% a whole new meaning. Zuckerberg's 30-year adjustable rate mortgage started with an initial 1.05%, and with the Fed signaling that interest rates will be near zero for another two years, this is actually a pretty sweet deal. While almost all lending rates are currently at record lows, high net worth individuals can get even lower rates if they are prepared to take the risk of monthly interest rate adjustments. The 1% is an expression that was popularized by the Occupy Wall Street movement, symbolizing the top 1% of the U.S. that earns a fifth of the country's entire income and holds over a third of its wealth in its grip of control. Hmm, it's almost like free money for the wealthy. I'm Daria Shabad with CorporateProfile.com reporting directly from Wall Street. Thank you for watching and please tune in again for more hot financial and world news.